Welcome to Office Experts tutorial video on Sales Module Part 2. Credit Note 1. From time to time, users may need to create credit note to make adjustment on their transactions. Credit note is treated as a negative sales invoice in Office Expert and will make adjustment to account receivable. There are two types of credit note in Office Expert, independent credit note and linked invoice credit note. 2. Independent credit note is an adjustment made to invoices without any reference. Independent credit note is used when the issue of credit note does not involve stock or for purchases. Click Issue Credit Note button on the Sales Listing tab icon to create one. 3. Independent credit note will create a different journal and does not make any adjustment on the invoice's journal. 4. Linked Invoice Credit Note also known as Reversal of Sales Invoice. When invoices are paid. Either full payment or partial payment, the reverse icon will appear on the invoice listing page. 5. Click on the reversal icon will allow an authorized user to generate a credit note based on the original invoice for reversal and returns. This action will make the necessary journal entries and will also add a note on the invoice for future reference. This action will also increase inventory, based on the quantity returned. 6. In general, credit note will affect the company account receivables. However, Office Expert allows credit note to make adjustment on account payable for situations such as overpriced purchase price issued by vendor. 7. Tick debit account payable box to inform the system that the credit note issue will affect account payable instead of account receivables. Sales features function. Command button. The following video explain the command button and its function that available throughout sales process flow. View. This button allows users to view the document without making any changes. Alter. This button allows users to alter the document, editing or converting the document. Save. The save button will be used to save the transactions with the intention to make some changes later or pending for approval. Post. This button available for employee with admin access, finance admin or sales administration journal will be created once the transaction is posted. Minimal changes is allow, changing document date or remarks. Discard. This button will discard the transaction that has not yet been post. Void. This button will void the posted transaction and undo the transaction journal. End transaction. This button will close all the documentation for the transaction. Ending a transaction will not affect account balances. You may make manual adjustments via journal entries if required. Converting document type. One users can convert the sales document type such as from sales order to sales invoice. Two click the alter button for the document. Three on the top left side box, choose type of document to be converted to from the drop down list. 4. Click Convert button. Email document to customer. 1. Once the sales document is completed, users can choose either to save it in the system, email to the customer or print the document. 2. Click View button for the document. 3. Click on the email icon. 4. The sales document will be sent to the customer's email. Customer email has been set. During Create a Contact Setup. 5. Customer will receive link to the sales document and will be able to open the document on their web browser. Print document. 1. Once the sales document is complete, users can choose either to save it in the system, email to the customer or print the document. 2. Click view button for the document. 3. Click on the print icon. 4. Choose custom margins to adjust the document alignment if necessary. 5. Print the document. Sales Reports Sales Summary 1. The summary is a powerful tool which aids you to search for specific transactions based on a required set of filters. The report generated provide valuable information which can help you analyze your sales transactions. 2. Select a date range of the transaction. 3. Other filter options available are Customer, Department, Salesperson, and Project. 4. Clicking View button without any other filters will result in a large range of data. It is advisable to limit the data range. A large data range will yield many transactions which will naturally take time for the system to search and display them. 
5. Click Export CSV button to export the data to Excel sheet. Account Receivables Aging Report 1. The Account Receivables Aging Report lists the customer whose invoices are unpaid or partially paid within the agreed payment terms. The report segmented past due invoices by days and customers. Two users may filter the report by selecting customer that they would like to send end of month aging statement to. 3. Select the receivables as of date. The system will use this date as the starting point for calculating and categorizing the aging. 4. Select age by invoice date. The system will use the invoice date to calculate aging classifications. Do note that invoices within payment terms will not appear in the 0 to 30 classification. 5. Select age by payment terms. The system will use the payment terms to calculate aging classifications. Do note that invoices within payment terms will fall under the 0-3 classification. 6. Click View Report button. 7. Users may print the page by utilizing the browser's print function, as explained in Video 1, Introduction titled Printing Document Sales Ledger 1. The sales ledger provides all transactions involving the selected customer ordered by the selected date range. 2. Select customer from the drop-down list. 3. Select a date range. This is the start and end date to focus on. 4. Click view button. Thank you for watching Office Experts tutorial video.